Hey, what is up you guys? It's Fabio. Happy almost Halloween. I have two parties to go to tonight and I'm taking you guys with me. You've got the VIP access. We're about to have hella fun. I'm leaving the plaza right now because I just got off of work and I'm gonna go home and get ready and you guys are gonna see what I'm gonna be for Halloween. So let's go. Oh my goodness, I am home. I almost lost my voice like screaming the songs of the artist that I'm dressing up as tonight. Little hint hint, I guess, uh, as to who I'm gonna be. It's gonna be a music artist, but is it gonna be a current artist? Is it gonna be an old one? Knowing me, it's probably gonna be an old one. I'm just pulling in some boxes uh, from my car, but, excuse me, <laughs> speaking of cars, look at this big beauty that I got right here. Hello, hello. This is a 1989 Lincoln Town Car, and she is all mine. Oh, what a clean beauty. She's big, too. This is a boat right here. And as you guys know, I used to have one of these things, and it was just the goat boat. And this thing is, like, new and improved. It's four years newer than the one I last had. The interior is kick-ass. Let me get that flash on for you real quick. Uh, it doesn't do much justice, but we've got... We got dark blue leather with wood paneling, and oh, oh, is it just beautiful. Look, you can fit a family in here. This thing is, oh, God. But anyway, I've, I've been working on it, and it's almost drivable. I've just got a couple leaks under the hood. This baby's so clean. I cannot wait for this thing to be road ready. Oh, my God. Okay, I gotta go get boxes. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna give you a hint as to what my Halloween costume is before I put it on, because I haven't started getting ready yet, but I just laid it all out for you guys to see. I want you to take a good look at everything and maybe leave a comment below what you think. Don't skip ahead. Pause the video right now after you see what I show you and then try to see if you know what it is. I bet you can't guess. We've got some red boots, a matching bass guitar, leather jacket and pants, and a beaded dreadlock wig. What could all this amount to? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. I'm Rick James, bitch. Charlie Murphy! Yes, but I am Rick James revived and in the flesh tonight. I've got my beads, I've got my leather, I've got my base. We'll get you the whole fit in a sec. In the meantime, we gotta go. Okay, you guys, so we're all ready to go. Uh, we're on our way to the party, but there's one crucial element missing from my costume, so we have to make one special stop before we get there. Da 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 da! We're at Party City because I need body glitter. <laughs> because Rick James is not complete without glitter and I'm about to walk in here as Rick James. I already had somebody tell me I look good. What would have really been smart was to like get some coke stuck to my nose, but we'll try and figure that out in the meantime. Thanks. I'm Rick James, bitch. I didn't want to shout it at her. I found the gold spray. It's all the way up there. I don't know how I'm gonna get to that. I'm Rick James, bitch. That's silver. Look at this. It was hidden behind here. There it is. <laughs> I'm Rick James, bitch. Okay, I got the glitter. And I also see a really nice old car. Wait for it to drive past. This thing looks pretty cool. Is it gonna go? Yeah. It's an oldie. And a beauty. Look at you. Woo! Yeah! That's right. Boy. That's an old Chevy, I like. Anyway, we got the goods. So, I saw this shit online, it's literally hairspray with glitter in it, and I'm about to see how many cans of this it takes to cover my whole body. They only had four, so hopefully just four, but let's go. Okay. Oh, so the first step is gonna be the wig, of course. Since it is actually hair. And I don't need it to dye it gold, I just need it to glitter it, so hopefully that's what this does. Oh, that didn't sound... A little test spray. Oh, okay. Oh, I see the shimmer in the air. Oh my god. Oh, I'm Rick James, bitch! Oh my god, it's a real-life snap filter! Oh, oh, I'm getting it on my phone. 
It's lit. Oh, I just died in cold on accident. Okay. Spray from afar. Because I just accidentally... Yeah, I just accidentally ruined it already. Oh my god. I feel like I'm on LSD. I don't even know what that feels like. It's all in the air around me. This is crazy. This stuff is amazing. Why need why do drugs when you can just play with this? There we go. Controlled bursts. Controlled bursts. I think that's good. Beautiful. Oh my god, it's exactly how I wanted it to be. All right, jacket time. Oh god. I have to put this back on. Uh, one of the ladies that was just checking me out, like, just walked out of Party City while I was shirtless. Oh my god. Oh, it's perfect. It's fucking perfect. Okay, I'm about to do this with a flash on. It's... This is so perfect. Oh. 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 I fucked up. Okay, I feel pretty sparkly. I think I need to get my face. Oh God. I am gonna be a glitter thought for the rest of my life at this rate. Let me check how that looks real quick. Peep the glitter on the base. Oh, oh. The sheen and the shimmer. You can really see it well on the red. I, it never had those sparkles before, that's great. And it goes all the way up the fretboard. Oh, what a beauty. I, I should get the head a little bit more. Oh no, it actually looks pretty great. All right, we're ready to party. It legit took only one of those four cans that I bought. But you know what the good thing about that is, is now I have three whole leftover cans of gold glitter spray to use however I please. And that is a blessing. This is gonna be fantastic. Yo, this shit is ugly right now. This is what happens when you go party shit just gets stressful when you're okay. That's a cop. Oh shit. Yep, everybody's getting out just in time. Cops are here. Uh-oh. Back to my vehicle. Okay. So let Rick James explain what just happened. So this was my friend's house party, right? And right when I get here, there's a ton of people standing outside and somebody from the patio or like the front porch is like shouting, telling them all to leave. And apparently like a ton of people who like didn't even dress up for the party or weren't invited try to come through and they just, they didn't get let in. So, uh, and then even when I got inside, my friend who's hosting this was kicking a ton of people out because they had already slipped in when they weren't invited and it was just a bunch of stuff and now I'm getting pulled up on or I well now somebody's just parking in front of me. So that just happened and now the cops are here because allegedly somebody, maybe somebody who like got kicked out or somebody who was mad that they got kicked out came around the block 
and shot up people's houses with paintball guns like all down the block. They basically did a drive-by paintball, mind you. I know I have to specify because this is America in 2018, but anyway. Party's over, cops are here, so uh, party's over. Which sucks because I was really looking forward to somebody coming through with their group of friends, like in a matter of moments, but like, oh God, I see like, I see like where they're standing with the other neighbor who probably called the cops, the one whose house got Shut up. I don't want to interfere any further. We're just going to move on to the next event of the night. Thank God this isn't the only thing that we were going to do. Rick James is going to go party. But before we do any more partying, I have to get some gas. So I'm really about to walk in the quick trip as Rick James right now. Okay, you guys, so I'm in Westport right now. I'm on my way to Aura Nightclub. I was invited to come by one of my friends. Her name is Anna or Anna Rose. Either or. And I've never hung out with Anna Rose before. I've only known her from like selling her shoes at Dillard's from when I used to work there. This should be fun, especially since I don't go out to nightclubs or anything at all, like ever. You know, why bother if you don't drink? But I like to go out and dance and have fun and I need to be seen in this costume, so I'm gonna be Rick James at Aura. Yeah, like I've said, I've never hung out with her before. This will be the first time her and I spent some time together, and already she's asking me for 10 bucks because she, like, needs to pay the bar. <laughs> so, that'll be fun. I'm gonna go. There it is. Aura Nightclub. <laughs> right now up there I was literally just up there with my bass performing and everybody was watching me so many people like tapped on my leg to like get my attention so we could take a snapchat together it was crazy I wish I would have gotten that on my phone but I might get back up there again whoa 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 Pause the video right here. I totally forgot to add this back in my notes. You'll have to excuse me if there's any other background noise in me recording this, but this right here is Marcus Slaw. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. And the only reason why I know who this guy is is because I've seen him on Instagram before and he has a Supreme Box logo tattoo directly on his forehead. Moving on with the video. James, bitch! <laughs> Woo. All right, night's over with. Rick James has left the building. So much crazy shit happened. That dude just seized. He's like being assisted right now because he just like started convulsing on the floor. Uh, I took a ton of pictures with a bunch of people 
I only got a couple of them to send them to me because I, I only thought about it later. But I had so much fun. So much alcohol splattered on my base. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm covered too, but I just can't tell because I'm in leather. And like some girl got her weave caught in the head of my base. And that was just so much fun. I smell weed. It's not me. Somebody's got that Mary Jane. <laughs> but I'm just walking back to my car. Twas a good night. Oh, so this is where people were hanging out. I kept seeing people go in and out of this like back door in the club. And I guess it just leads here because they're just like hanging out there and smoking. I don't know what else is back there. Gotta get my keys. Thank God I still have them and my wallet. <laughs> and my feet hurt in these. Charlie Murphy! <laughs> I'm with James, bitch. <laughs> enjoy yourself. <laughs> enjoy uh, Treat yourself. I'm Rick James, bitch. <laughs> Hold my drink, bitch. Show Charlie Murphy your titties. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, man. Have a good night. <laughs> All right, guys. I am home. I just pulled into my driveway. I had a pretty fun night. It was super exciting, especially since I don't always get to go out. Uh, it's really nice to hit the club scene every now and again. I mean, I have like absolutely no reason to because I don't drink and I don't get invited out because I don't drink. So it's fun to make that happen. I'm really, really happy with how this costume turned out. I put a lot of money into it and ordered like everything off of Amazon. This was Amazon. Uh, the boots were Amazon. The base I got off of Amazon for $65. That was a steal. And then, like, these leather pants were from some off-site, and then this leather jacket's Forever 21, but that's the whole, yeah, that's the whole Rick James costume breakdown. But yeah, the club was good. They played some really weird music at times, like, uh, at some point, they were playing a remix of Smash Mouth by All Star that morphed into backstreets back all right by the backstreet boys or whatever that song is it was to this weird techno remix and it was like so what's wrong with taking the backstreets 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 back 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 streets back all right and i was like what the fuck is going on and then they literally had uh skrillex's cinema like 2008 Cine Skrillex remixed with the fucking Miiverse theme. You know, the little I was going crazy. I was like, what the shit is this? But yes, overall, the one thing that I was happiest about was just the way that this costume turned out with the glitter. I was so happy that I was able to find like the right kind of like spray to make all of this happen just look at my pants you can tell i accidentally overdid it on the thighs if you do it too close then you get the gold coloring but if you do it like at a distance then you just get the gold speckles because it spreads but oh my gosh that's so pretty like i can see why girls love sparkles and shit but anyway uh yeah there was this video of this cat that rolled around in its owner's bathtub after she forgot to clean it out from using a, a gold glitter bath bomb and that is what inspired this finishing touch to this look so i'm going to give my head a break this wig is squeezing me uh i'm gonna go inside i'm gonna wipe the alcohol off of my base i'm gonna change out of this stuff and let it air out because i got sweaty and leather and and I'm going to go to bed because I have work at 11 in the morning and it's like 3. So, without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little outing. I'll try to do this more often if you guys like it. Maybe get some friends in there. Maybe make things interesting. Maybe see what, you know, where things go. You whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just super happy that I vlogged tonight because I've been lacking on the, you know, quality side of vlogging videos in general but we're getting better at it we're always learning and i'm doing that foreign thing where i keep bringing up new things to talk about whenever i'm trying to say bye so i'm just gonna catch you guys later i love you good night bye